Imagine as a man, you're just coming home from work, you're coming from the store, maybe just even going to the gym, and you're going home. You're going to see your lovely wife, girlfriend, or significant other. You know, you open the door, everything looks cool, and you start walking towards your room. But something just don't, you know, feel right. Start hearing noises, you start hearing movement. And for some guys, you think that, hmm, somebody's in my house and this person is a burglar. Well, that is true. Somebody is in your house. And you open the door and there is your wife, girlfriend or significant other getting nailed from uh, the back. Now, let's stop right there. Imagine as a man. Okay, you've been with this woman for a long time. You do everything you can for this woman. You go out, you pay your rent, you pay her rent. Let's say if that lady has kids, you're taking care of her kids. You're taking care of your kids. You're doing everything you can to give this woman a life. And if you want to be honest, a life that she cannot give herself. If we really want to be real. She can't give it to herself. You're the one giving it to her. And then, you know, you've been with her. You've been through her tough times. And yeah, this is how she thanks you. Dealing with another dude in the house you pay for. And let's just be real. Or a guy that won't do half the stuff that, you're, that, that you would do for her. But y'all getting the same sex. Now, let's kind of go back to the question. What do you do? in that situation well a lot of guys would act quite differently in that situation and this is exactly what happened with this particular brother he found his wife 51 year old lady okay in the bed with another man what was her name claudette williams what was his name Curtis Williams, right? He chased a man from the house, came back into the house, and he's saying that her, he said that, you know what? Her behavior was unacceptable. And there was nothing less than death that he was going to accept. So he deleted her. I mean, I guess that probably made him feel better for the time being. But then here's what he said I lost my head, man. I have destroyed my life. Now, after doing it, he tried to lie, he tried to say that it was self-defense. And then once he thought that he couldn't do that, he actually tried to end his own life. Right. But I want to kind of talk to guys about this today because this is important. Because in life, I've noticed many things are going to happen that, you know, you're not going to like and people are going to disrespect you. Especially the longer somebody knows you. Shout out to Cedric Singleton over at Black Market. He told me something that was very true one day. He said, listen, the longer you know people, the more they're going to disrespect you. That's what they do. Who are the people that disrespect you the most? Your friends and your family. How do you know that? Because they're the ones who take you for granted the most. All right. They're the ones who, you know, don't respect you the most. They may love you the most. But there are so the people that disrespect you the most. So you should understand that. And that coincides with wives. That coincides with friends. That coincides with a lot of people in the world who are going to look at you a lot differently that you know. And they're going to come to you and do things to you that you're not going to like. Here's what I found out, right, as a, as a man. Let them do whatever the hell they want. But the most important part is how you respond. Now, I'm not telling nobody not to feel a certain kind of way, because obviously, if I were to come, you know, home and to see huh, my wife getting smashed, I feel uh, I feel a certain kind of way, too, brother. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I would feel very, 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 very bad about that for sure. I feel a certain kind of way. I don't know what I would do, 
But I would think about something in particular. I would try to think about my life. I would try to think about what I've worked for. I would try to think about what is worth living. And not even put my masculinity aside and things like that. Because a lot of guys want to chase the guy. And, you know, sometimes it's a guy that you do know. Sometimes it's a guy you don't know. But here's the situation. If you kill him, you're going to jail. That's for sure. You're going to jail. All right? That's the truth. And, and this is what we need to talk about, brothers, because it's not worth going to jail. No woman is worth going to jail jail it's just not worth it brother it's not none of these ladies or people are worth going to prison over it ain't worth it it ain't worth it at all you have the power to be like you know what man you this is what you're gonna do you're not worth it you need to get your ass up out of here or I'm going to get my ass up out of here. Go through the process of divorcing her because clearly she ain't about nothing. She already letting you know that she ain't about nothing and you don't need her. But then what happens with a lot of brothers, you know, sometimes we say things, man, like, and in the heat of the moment, you say something that you're going to regret. I used to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody do something to you and instead of letting it go, instead of just, you know, living your life, you know, you kind of want to put that person in their place. Let that person know what's up. Let them know that they ain't about nothing. And then what ends up happening? What ends up happening? You feel bad about it later on. Like, damn, I shouldn't have said it to so-and-so. I shouldn't have said it to, you know, X, Y, and Z. Man, you know what? I apologize for that, you know? And it comes back years later to apologize for that. And really, if you would have handled it right the first time, it would have been all good. And that's what, as black men, we need to do. We need to handle it right the first time. Because when it comes to getting second chances, especially in the penal system, they're not giving those for the most part. All right. If you get lucky, you can get it. But they're trying to wash brothers. All right. So if you make a mistake and get with a woman that will sleep with somebody in the house that you live in, think, think about that kind of person and why they did you a favor. Because they just did you a big favor. Huge favor. You don't need them. All right? You should be glad they got the hell on. I'm just going to be real. They did you a favor, bro. A favor that, you know, you really need a lot. And a lot of people going to, you know, what I found out, push their, uh, push themselves out your life. Guess what? They gonna do you a big favor. You know what I'm saying? They gonna do you a big favor and it's completely cool. Some people are going to do that, man, you know, and let them go. You go and you find somebody who is going to be better, who is going to be decent, all the things you want in a person. And trust me when I say you are going to live a better life than them, a more successful life than them. And they're going to be, you know what I'm saying? Um, dusty as hell. All right. That's what we know. So guys, don't be like this brother thinking about making a bad decision. And all of a sudden, you know, I messed up my life and woe is me. I wish I wouldn't have did that because it ain't worth it. Nobody is worth you destroying your life just for the fact that they don't want to be with you. Let them go. Let them go. So guys, what you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. I'm out.